They want to bring it to a safe ending without anybody getting injured, including the officers. And yes, they will use any technique possible. Oh. And those two uh, techniques there are the ones that uh, we see most often. The pursuit exiting the freeway here. That's Crown Valley Parkway off the southbound side of the five. Let's see what happens here. Are you thinking that just heading back northbound now? Yeah, you know, he's been yeah. driving very erratically. We've seen that a number of times, even driving through construction zones across dirt areas just to get back onto uh, an on-ramp or off-ramp and using uh, either an off-ramp to get on the freeway or an off-ramp to get off the freeway. Crown Valley here driving uh, in the center. Oh, crossing over oh, right there. Goodness. Really getting agitated now because of the officer right in the center of an interchange there on a red light. That's CHP uh, SUV. Now here's a point where you could conduct that pit maneuver, that pursuit intervention technique, slowing down. You can see the speeds on our extreme nav, upper right corner there, down to 30 miles an hour or less. Not a whole lot of traffic, but it appears that, uh, appears the vehicle may have stopped underneath the over. Nope, it's still moving, but at a very slow pace. Let's see what happens. A little cat and mouse yeah, here, perhaps? Yeah, I think this is cat and mouse. We've seen this too many times, don't you think, Rick? Yeah, it's, it's possible. You just don't know what the mindset is of the drivers. Uh, again, allegedly a DUI driver driving obviously recklessly here. Officers uh, have to be very cautious. They don't know what they're dealing with. Obviously, the mindset uh, of this individual is not a stable one, and perhaps this individual could have a weapon, and they have to assume that at all times. There are a lot of units there. Let's count them. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five units. One motorcycle unit there, and five or four uh, uh, ground uh, SUVs and patrol cars there. Crown Valley so, Parkway here. Uh, okay, so the strategy, because speeds, well, now we're in the 40s again, but picking up speed for a pit. Oh, pit, yeah. Pit. Try, yep, he did it. Oh, there you spun go. Him Boom. Out, spun, spun him out. out. Dangerous situation yep. again, because now the suspect, all right, and they're going to go for a foot bail. Run, nope. He's just, okay, he's just walking out casually. Hands up, hands up. Let's see what, let's see what he's doing here. Okay, okay. he's. He's lifting up his shirt here. He's he's pretty Taking much uh, he's pretty now. much yeah now walk but not not really abiding by what the officers are telling him to do. But let's see. At least his hands are in 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 clear view there, lifting him up, and he's getting uh, strict strict instructions right now by those officers to do exactly what he's told to make sure his hands are visible to eventually lay flat out on his stomach on the asphalt there from behind turning back. Perhaps we'll walk back a few steps and then get on the ground. There he goes, on his knees and then on the ground. Oh, what is that? Oh. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's doing something odd there. It didn't appear that there was anything he was actually cr crushing at that time or something. It looks like he's missing a shoe as well. That right shoe is, is missing. So, meanwhile, we see the guns drawn, and obviously the focus is on the suspect. And I, doing as officers are telling him to do. And then the focus will be on the vehicle itself to make sure that it's cleared. That's right. And, and it did appear that he did start to uh, heed the instructions of the officers, backing up and, uh, and putting his hands behind his back. You could see guns still drawn by the California Highway Patrol, cuffing this mm. suspect, a canine standing by as well, just in case.